Good afternoon, Pete. Good afternoon, Mark. Thanks for arranging the meeting with us and etc. Interview. Um, a few questions for you. Uh, just starting off with your journey um, in your footballing career. So where you started and where you currently are now. I started quite late. I didn't start playing football till I was 17, 18. Um, for a team anyway, so we started, used to play around in the playground. Um, started with Erith Town, went on to Wellin, Dulwich and a few other non-league clubs. Um, my main starting point really was with the Aspire Academy when it originally started 12 years ago with Junior and Gavin. Um, people think I actually joke around when I say they taught me how to play football at the age of 21, stroke 22. So simple little things like around the corner, playing the ball safe side. These were terminologies that I didn't understand until they actually got me onto a training ground and showed me play the ball, ball safe side, play around the corner. And they taught me when and where to actually take people on, areas to pass the ball, because I was effectively a street football player up until then. Um, but they kind of helped me around up my game to make me a more professional player. And what opportunities did you feel you lacked, um, you know, growing up as a player? The Aspire Academy um, would always be something I believe I never had that I would have loved to have had when I was younger. Um, like I said, they taught me how to play football at the age of 21, 22. Now, if I had that kind of guidance and support at the age of 14, 15, 16, um, my career could have been different. Um, obviously, by the time you're 21, 22, it becomes a little bit difficult, harder to actually get into the professional environment. Um, but during that period, I still had a few opportunities, a few trials um, with the like of Palace and Northampton Town. And that was simply due to working with um, the Aspired Academy over that two year period where they progressed me as a football player. Um, you said you spent three seasons at Dulwich. Um, what was your favourite out of all of them, would you say? Huh. Well, that would have to be the um, championship winning season. Sure. Uh, yeah, um, when we got promoted into the Ramon Prem. It was a difficult season, um, lots of up and downs, but there's no better feeling than end of a long season. You've got something to show for it. Um, you've seen players move on to higher leagues. Uh, what do you think made them stand out? What qualities and characteristics do you think they had? That were different to them? Mentality. Um, coaching now with the under nines, under tens, you start seeing the mentality, even at that age, between those that want to learn, want to listen to what they've been asked to do, and want to push themselves and progress, as opposed to those that think they know it all or think they're better than what they actually are. Um, so the mentality, I think, is the biggest asset that any football player could have in their career. Um, all the boys that have moved on from the Aspire Academy, from the first team, is always been their mentality and their willingness to work and push themselves beyond their comfort zone. Um, from George and Colby to uh, Anne to Daniel Carr, their mentality has always been stronger than others. that have got the ability and the talent, but not quite that same willingness to work and push themselves beyond that, beyond their comfort zone. Um, our last camp in February, our last Pets camp in February, you sent down a few of your players from the um, Aspire Group, so the under-14s or so. Um, why was that and what do you think, did you hope, what did you hope to achieve by sending them down to the centre? Well, I've seen what you guys are trying to do um, and I believe is a great idea. Um, obviously, the first one that you've done came down and had a look. Um, our boys came down to play against you. So the whole idea and the whole setup is brilliant for any young aspiring football player. Um, it's no different to what the Aspire Academy are doing. They're just trying to give young people the best facility, the best environment to actually enable them to progress as far as they can. Um, also, how did your boys find the experience? Did they tell you anything stood out to them specifically and have you personally seen a difference in their yes. Well, the report back from the ones that I spoke to were they really enjoyed it and they learned a lot during that week that they were with you. Um, I believe they benefited from it. Obviously, there's only so much we can give them. Um, going to different places, broadens your horizon and I always say to 
or young players, just play football wherever you can and listen to those people that are more experienced than you.